Are you new to exercise or just looking for a way to get a little extra workout in at home or on holiday? Maybe you don't have very much space. Maybe you don't have very much equipment. Stick around. I'm going to show you a great workout you can do at home in a hotel room, whether you're new or an experienced exerciser with just this piece of equipment, a resistance band. Hi, I'm Tamara from fitnitchick.com. I am a personal trainer group fitness instructor and I... Today I'd like to share with you a workout that's great for people who are just getting started exercising or just returning to exercise after a little bit of a hiatus. Maybe they work out at home or they're working out in a hotel room. They don't have a lot of space and they don't have a lot of equipment. All you really need to get started and to get moving is an exercise band. First exercise is going to be a simple squat against a little added resistance. You're going to step on the band, placing your feet about hip distance apart. I want you to take those handles up and behind, hold them behind your shoulders, nice and easy open palm. From here, we're going to drop into a squat. Reach your bum back, press through the heels on the way up. Okay, three. You want to aim for an open chest, eyes forward, knees behind the toes. There's six. We're going to go six more. Five, four, three, two. We're working quads and glutes. One and step. Second exercise changing the direction of movement to get into the side of the bum, the side of the legs. Everybody's going to cross their handles. We're going to start with feet under our hips. We're going to take a step to the left, bring your feet together. To the left, take your feet together. All the way over to the edge of the room or the edge of the frame. Back, other direction. Aim to keep your toes pointed forward. Soft bend in your knee the whole time. Just a little bit of a side step. Shoulders back and down, chest open. Guess what? We're heading back. If you have a really long room, big space to play with, you can aim to do eight or 10 of these before changing direction. You should start feeling a little bit of something happening in the side of the leg and in the glute. All right, that's your second exercise. Drop into a little bit of a squat, so soft knees, shoulders back and down. We're going to come into an upright row, bringing the elbows up, band is crossing right in front of your chest. Shoulders are back and down, always, belly pulled in tight. Six, six more, and four, three, two, one. We're going to alternately Lift one arm up, soft bend in the elbow, initiate the movement from the top of the shoulder. It's a front raise. You feel that? Not a lot of resistance, but just enough to fatigue those shoulders. Good, give me four more. Four, three, two, one. You want to make sure that when you're standing, feet under your hips, arms in this position, you've already got tension on that band. Otherwise, we're not really doing anything for our chest. When we pull and reach hands together, okay? Try to keep your shoulders down and back. Feel this where your chest and your underarms meet, okay? It's a chest press with resistance, just enough resistance to feel something happening. Good, and give me four more, four, Three, two, and one. Again, take that band, wrap it around your fingers, around your hands, and I want you to start with it up nice and high, okay? Band is up high, little bend in your knee, keeps the pelvis in a nice position, and I want you to pull that band down in front of your chest. Don't just work your arms here. Think about pulling your shoulder blades down and back, into the center of your back. Those are your lats that are doing the work. Remember, no floppy bands. Band is coming down in front of your face. You're lifting your chest to the band just as much as you're pulling the band down to your chest. Let's go three more. Two and one. It's a 
bicep concentration curl. We've got both handles in the same hand, our elbows tucked in nice and tight to our body, shoulders are back and down. We're curling those handles up to shoulder. You should start feeling that big muscle at the top of your arm. Yes? And four more. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Step it off. If you... Last exercise is for your triceps, back of the upper arm. Favorite place to tone. You're going to wrap both hands with the band one more time. Stagger one foot in front of the other. Take the hand on the front foot side and press it against your hip. That's your anchor position. You're going to lean forward from the waist. Nice flat back. Take the other elbow nice and high. From here, we're going to kick back. Notice that my elbow is staying up. I'm trying to keep my shoulders facing the floor in front. You should start feeling that tricep kick in already. What to avoid with this one? Don't let your arm flap out to the side. Don't drop your elbow. Keep that upper arm almost parallel with the floor. And two more. And last one. So we've just done a quick home workout that required only one piece of equipment, piece of exercise tubing. You're gonna choke up on it to make sure that you always have tension in that band at the beginning of an exercise. No floppy bands allowed. Have a great day. For more exercise tips and free workouts, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and my blog, fitnitchick.com. You can also find me on Instagram and Twitter at fitnitchick underscore one and on Facebook at fitnitchick. Exercise workouts is a resistance band. And I just hit myself in the face. Secrets for nude exercise.